No way. What I'm trying to say is, without trusting Hashem and hope for the best, there's really nothing that we know for sure that we can determine is good or bad. Nothing. There's no way to know. You know how many people, because they watch their health all day jogging, running, you know these people? You know, everything, top muscles like this, watch their health all day in the park, marathons like this, age 45, <coughs> heart attack and he dies. Why he got a heart attack? Because he was jogging for 20 years. Jogging was supposed to save you from a heart attack. Ma, people who all day eat cream cakes and steaks and drink lechaim, they get heart attacks with the 500 pound belly. Not this athletic guy who runs all day in the park. Now one gram of fat, checking cholesterol every hour. So why he died? Because Hashem got sick and tired of him. So you know what? You're just an idol worshiper, worshiping your health, your body, non-stop, vitamins all day like this. Not 1% trust in me that I decide who die and live. I'll, show, I'll teach you a lesson. Say goodbye. What caused him to die, it's 20 years of sweat. And his brother... <laughs> ...is beginning to plan his bar mitzvah when he's 50. Why? I trust Hashem, leave me alone. Mr. Moscovich, not too much kugel, it's too much oil. Gurnished. I, life and death is in Hashem. Neither one of them is right. You have to have balance. You have to watch good health. But don't make it an idol worshipping religion. Gym morning, gym in the evening, every opening day. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Why do you say that everything is Overall, in the end, even the bad things that happen are good. Why? Because it should have been a lot worse. For instance, a person deserves now to die. What Hashem sends him to open heart surgery. Six months in a hospital, two million dollar bills, lost his business. He can hardly walk <laughs> all day like this. Every day he lives is a miracle. Thank you, Hashem. Believe me, he say, Modea Anil Fanecha Melech Kayam with a lot of kavana. Because he knows the Neshama came back by a miracle. So he thinks. My life got destroyed. Look what I used to be, and look what I became. But he doesn't know that this incident saved him a billion punishments in the next world. A billion. Do you know what it means, a billion punishments? Auschwitz, Tramblinka, Sodom and Gomorrah, San Francisco, Las Vegas, Auschwitz again. Punishments. And he got rid of it. Why? Six months of suffering. Saved him for who knows how many thousands of years of suffering. So right now, how can it be good to have an open heart surgery and to, not to be able to walk five stairs in a minute? Of course it doesn't look good. He could have been better. If this person would make 100% tshuva and doesn't have any open scenes, he wouldn't even need the open heart surgery. But since he did not make tshuva, Hashem did it the hard way for him, but this hard way, it's nothing compared to what it should have been or what it would be eventually. Therefore, even this, it's good. When a person loses money, it's good? Of course not. Who wants to lose money? I work very hard for this money. Now it's two years of my life went to the garbage. In, in a minute. Two years of sweat, one minute, it's gone. How can it be good? I need the money tomorrow to marry this son and the daughter and all kinds of things. How can it be good? Of course it's good. Without losing this money, you'll be dead. You just got 40 more years of life thanks to this money. What do you think? Hashem has to give something to the Satan. What do you think? It's a joke. The Satan is a prosecutor. Rosh Hashanah, he comes to Hashem. This person is 40 years old. Hashem, you know and I know that this person finished all his merits. He has to die this year. Cannot keep him alive. He has hundreds of cases pending against him of death penalty. What does Hashem have to do? He wants to give him another 20, 30 years of life. Maybe he'll do tshuva, something. He has to give something to, to block them out of the Satan. So he say, okay, 
we'll give him an extension and we'll make his house burn with three million dollar things in it. The art, the, the cash, everything will go to the garbage. The insurance will pay one million, he'll lose two million, we'll give him an extra 20 years. The Satan agree, okay. Money, it's life. That's what the Torah said. Money, it's called damim. Lachen, once a person that lost all his money, it's considered that he died. Allah wise, ani chashuf kemet. You lost all your money, it's count like you got a death penalty. It's replacement. So now, believe me, any person that you come and say to him, excuse me, what would you prefer? To die today when you're 40 instead of 75? Or to lose two million dollars and have some aggravation? Of course, he would say, take the house, take the other house also. Of course, let me leave. Since he doesn't know that that's replacement for life, he's upset. If he knew all the details, he would make a party. What are you making a party for, Moshe, that the house got burned? With the Picasso picture and that and the cash that I had in the vault, everything got burned, so I'm making a party. What are you making a party for? Because if not that, I would be dead now. I won't be able to talk to you. It's all replacement, give and take. All the problems in life could have been a lot worse. If you agree with what Hashem did, it's done here. You rebel, you have complaints, another punishment comes. That's how.